Hi, Dr. Yas here. In this video, I wanted to give an overall view of how muscles contract and how muscles create force or develop strength. There is way, way too little understanding about the intricacies of how a muscle works, which allows lots of people to promote ideas about how to get stronger or how to make more muscle, which is simply baseless. There's no rationale or justification for what's being said. So as always, I believe my responsibility is to help people understand concepts with a greater level of knowledge so you could make better decisions about how you want to proceed with whatever you're, you know, whatever area you're, you're trying to figure out how to proceed. So I want to try to give you this understanding and I have a picture that will help you to understand exactly how the muscle creates a contraction and why the YAS method of understanding of how to develop strength really feeds into and is really um, clarified in the fact that it is the most logical way of developing strength. So basically, we just want to talk about the idea that muscle is comprised of two proteins, actin and myosin. Actin looks like a billion golf balls in a row and myosin looks like a billion golf clubs in a row. And the way it basically works is that they sit very close to each other. And what will happen is when a muscle is asked to contract, the golf club will grab the golf ball and it's going to pull itself to the next golf ball. And then it's going to pull itself to the next golf ball. So imagine a billion golf clubs grabbing a million golf balls and sliding by each other. It is known as the sliding fiber theory. That is the theory by which muscle is known to contract. So to exemplify it, here is a picture that I was able to find. And as you can see here, we're looking at the actin, which are the golf balls. And here is a myosin fiber. And you can see the little thing that sticks up that looks like the head of a golf club. So when the muscle is then asked to contract, you could see it then integrates or connects to the golf balls and what happened was it pulls itself it pulls itself in a sense it's basically you can either think of it as pulling itself or pulling the set of golf club clubs and it pulled it that way and then it releases and then gets ready to grab again and then pulls again so what you can see in this picture, this, this is an actual representation of what the actin and myosin look like under an electron microscope. You can clearly see that what happens is that you have the golf balls and here's the golf club. It, it connects to the golf balls and then pulls itself along the line of golf balls. So there you go. That's a really good representation of what it looks like in real life. Just to represent it, I'm trying to use my fingers. So if we understand that the strength of a muscle is directly correlated to the number of places where golf clubs can grab golf balls, then we could understand that if there was a muscle that had 10 binding sites and there was this muscle that had 100 binding sites, this muscle would be 10 times stronger. So the essence of what we're trying to develop are the number of binding sites. How many places can myosin grab actin? So the question then becomes, well, how do we incite the muscle to want to make more muscle or more binding sites? And the answer is that you need to cause the muscle to adapt to greater and greater resistances. The muscle will only want to incite more muscle mass, more binding sites, if it is being asked to push against a greater force. That would be the only impetus that would say to the body, I better make more muscle mass to adapt to this force I'm being asked to push against. Therefore, the idea of doing higher repetition counts, more sets, 
um, trying to rush through exercise more quickly. All of these things are defeatist in the way that a muscle can be worked to develop more muscle mass. This is the principle of how you need to get stronger. And it is at the core of the YAS method. The YAS method believes in the idea that an exercise when strengthening a muscle should represent that muscle moving a singular joint, the joint that that muscle connects to, in a singular direction, because that's what muscles do. They pull muscle, they pull joints in one direction. For instance, the quads extend the knee, the hamstrings flex the knee, right? So that's the idea. So the rest of the body should be completely relaxed and stable while that one joint is being moved in one direction by the muscle that's being strengthened. Then you simply apply the appropriate resistance to allow that muscle to have to adapt and work against it which then incites the body to say, well, we have a certain level, a certain number of binding sites where the myosin is grabbing the actin, but we need more to adapt to this greater resistance that we're working against. That causes an inflammatory response, which then takes proteins and allows muscle mass to be developed. So I hope that if I give you a little clearer understanding of how muscles work, exactly the mechanism by which a muscle contracts and creates force, it'll become a little clearer to you what is necessary if you don't have enough of that muscle mass because it's straining due to the force requirement of your activities that you now could understand what would be necessary to make more muscle mass or down at a microscopic level, more binding sites. The places where actin can grab myosin, which is how the muscle creates force. Okay? So hopefully this is clear. Now, if it's not as clear as I hope it would be, and you want to contact me, you can contact me at my email address, drmitch at mitchellyas.com, D-R-M-I-T-C-H at M-I-T-C-H-E-L-L-Y-A-S-S dot com, drmitch at mitchellyas.com. If this is making sense more than anything you've heard in the existing medical system or anybody else promoting the idea of how you can get stronger and you would like to make a Zoom or Skype session so that I can help to make sure that we're working on the right things and make sure you're doing them correctly and understand how to progress resistance, again, you can contact me at my email address, drmitch at mitchellyas.com, D-R-M-I-T-C-H at M-I-T-C-H-L-L-Y-A-S-S dot com. Dr. Mitch at MitchellYoss.com. If you like this video and you'd like to give it a thumbs up, that's great. If you like my YouTube channel, Dr. Mitchell Yoss, and would like to get more information or get notifications when new videos are added or when I am live on YouTube, please subscribe. It's a great way to find out when more information is being provided. I hope that people see my information as highly applicable. The goal of this is not to just give you theoretical nonsense that really doesn't apply to you in real life and doesn't help you achieve your goals of living pain-free and fully functional. The goal is to give you all the tools you need. That's what I'm in this for. So hopefully everyone's feeling it. I'm getting more and more response. I'm getting more and more requests for Skype and Zoom sessions. And it excites me and makes me feel that I'm breaking through all the noise that's out there. And there is a lot of it. But hopefully people get to hear this, which is purely based on all the forms of science you can imagine. Uh, physiology, anatomy, kinesiology, physics, biomechanics. Every one of those are represented in the YAS method and how it is to be applied. So hopefully you guys get it. See, get a little sense that this is, is, is going to work for you and reach out and try to get it and allow me to help you resolve your pain and live that pain-free, fully functional life. So for now, Dr. Mitchell Yas, wishing you a pain-free, fully functional life. Bye-bye for now.